Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today what we're going to be doing is an oil change. Now, I did get the Mobile One full synthetic 5W20 with the OEM filter. The reason I'm doing my own oil change, I used to dealer maintain it just um, while well, I'm out of warranty now, so it doesn't matter. But another reason is it was, it used to be when I first got the car five, six, about six years ago. It was $80 for an oil change and they gave it a nice hand wash and topped off your fluids and everything. Now it's $150, I believe, for an oil change. So, so that's just insane. Like, I know inflation and stuff, cost of living, everything has doubled. So companies can double their profits. But working people, we can't double our, our income. So I'm going to double my income on oil changes by doing it myself so this was forty dollars plus tax and then the filter i forget it was like 15 bucks all in like 60 bucks and uh so and then you'll you'll need one of those and that holds 15 liters so i can do like three oil changes before emptying that and then a funnel so you buy those two things you're good and then this, you're gonna save save a bunch of money in the long run. Next, I wanna do a transmission fluid change and switch to synchro mesh, so stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and jack this up. All you're gonna need is a 17 millimeter. I'm gonna put on a glove so my hands don't get all oily. She was definitely due. It's black. I do it every 5,000 kilometers, which is about 3,100 miles. Seeing how black that is, I might start doing it every 4,000 kilometers, so more like 2,500 miles. But I actually think I went like 6,000 kilometers on this one just because I've been broke. But I was going to do my oil changes at the dealer, but screw that. I'll do it myself. So drain plugs there. Filters literally... Right there, that that blue thing right there. So, go ahead, should be able to take, take that off by hand. So I just took two hands and loosened it up. And, uh, yeah. Ah, what a mess. Okay, there we go, perfect. I'm gonna go get a cloth and wipe all that after. I'm just gonna lube it up a bit, with some oil. I know if you go at like Jiffy Lube or whatever they call it, then they uh, get you to start your car with no oil in it and like kind of rev it up to get all the old oil out. So I don't know if you should do that. I just do this, drain it, and fill it up. It's fine. I do my oil changes often, so I'm not worried. But let me know, let me know. I'm not a mechanic. This is literally the first oil change I've ever done. So I think I did one like when I was a teenager. The angle's like this. So you can't fill it up all the way. It's just gonna leak. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in. A little more. See, I'm making a mess already. All right, yeah, that'll hold almost probably half a liter. When you fill it up, it like bubbles and then it goes down. So you gotta fill it up like three different times until it settles. Go ahead, tighten that back up. Nice and snug with both hands. All right, that's about half a liter there, so that should be four, about four and a half. Hopefully, I didn't overfill it. If I did, then I might have to drain some out. But it's better to not overfill it and just go under, and then slowly add more to it. But I wasn't thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower the car.
right on the money if you don't do it often this gets like i've had this caked in goo before on old cars that i didn't care about like just drive them into the ground this is clean perfect all right transmission fluid change coming soon because i definitely need that so stay tuned lots more content to come though and uh a tune coming soon so stay tuned thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye